Top 5 Reasons Seniors Experience Burning Feet at Night Do this before it's too late. Are your feet burning at night, keeping you awake or making it hard to relax? You're not alone. For many seniors, that strange, fiery feeling in their feet isn't just annoying. It's a signal from the body that something deeper is going on. It could mean nerve damage, poor circulation, nutritional deficiency, or something even more serious. But here's the good news. Once you understand the hidden reasons behind burning feet at night, you can take simple steps to cool the fire, restore your comfort, and even prevent long-term damage. These insights are based on current research and common clinical findings. And while this video is not a substitute for professional medical advice, it can help you understand what might be happening and what questions to ask your doctor. Let's uncover the top five reasons seniors experience burning feet at night and what you can do right now to fix it before it's too late. Number five, nerve damage, peripheral neuropathy. That burning, tingling, or electric feeling in your feet? Often it's your nerves trying to tell you something. Peripheral neuropathy is one of the most common causes of burning feet in seniors, especially those with diabetes, prediabetes, or vitamin deficiencies. As we age, the nerves in our feet become more vulnerable to damage. Elevated blood sugar levels over time, even slightly above normal, can slowly damage nerve endings. Vitamin B12 deficiency is another big culprit. Without enough of this vital nutrient, your nerves lose their protective coating and begin to misfire, creating that burning sensation. Take Richard, 70, who started waking up every night with a fiery pins and needles feeling in both feet. He brushed it off as poor circulation. But after a visit to his doctor and a few simple blood tests, it turned out he had a long undiagnosed B12 deficiency, alongside early signs of prediabetes. With the right treatment and dietary changes, his symptoms slowly eased. According to the National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, more than 20 million Americans have some form of peripheral neuropathy, and the risk increases sharply with age. In people with diabetes, nearly 50% will eventually develop nerve-related symptoms, most commonly in the feet and legs. Common signs include burning, stabbing, or electric pain, tingling or numbness in the feet, increased sensitivity to touch or temperature. What to do? Start by speaking to your doctor and requesting a test for neuropathy and vitamin B12 levels. These are simple, inexpensive tests that can reveal a lot. To support your nerves naturally, Increase your intake of B12-rich foods, like eggs, fish, dairy, and leafy greens. You can also consider supplements, but only under medical guidance. Managing blood sugar levels is essential too, even if you're not diabetic. Stay active, avoid refined sugar, and focus on a whole foods diet. Bonus tip. Gentle foot massages and warm Epsom salt soaks may help ease nerve discomfort before bed. While these won't fix the underlying issue, they can make your nights more restful while you're working on the root cause. Number four, poor circulation, peripheral artery disease. Do your feet ever feel hot and swollen, yet cold to the touch? Do they cramp when you walk or feel heavy and irritated at night? These are classic signs of poor circulation. And one of the most common causes in older adults is a condition called Peripheral artery disease. Peripheral artery disease happens when fatty plaque builds up inside the arteries that supply blood to your legs and feet. As the arteries narrow, blood flow slows. And when your feet don't get enough oxygen and nutrients, they start to suffer, often with burning, aching, or throbbing sensations, especially at night when circulation naturally decreases. Eleanor, 73, began waking up with burning feet every night. She also noticed her calves tightening after just a few minutes of walking. At first, she thought it was arthritis or just aging. But after talking with her doctor, 
A vascular test revealed peripheral artery disease, something she had never even heard of. With daily walking, a few dietary changes, and close medical monitoring, her symptoms began to fade within a few weeks. Peripheral artery disease affects roughly one in five adults over 60, according to the American Heart Association. Many don't know they have it. That's because the symptoms come on slowly. Burning feet, cold toes, slow healing sores. Until one day, walking to the mailbox becomes a challenge. Researchers writing in the journal Circulation have found that nighttime foot burning can be an early warning sign of poor blood flow in the lower limbs, particularly in older adults who are inactive or have a history of smoking, diabetes, or high cholesterol. If you're experiencing symptoms like these, ask your doctor for a circulation test. One common method compares blood pressure in your arms and ankles to detect blood flow problems. It's painless, non-invasive, and can provide answers quickly. To improve circulation naturally, start walking daily. Even 10 to 15 minutes can help. Drink more water. Reduce salty, processed foods. Try to keep your legs flat at night rather than elevated. And focus on circulation-friendly foods like spinach, garlic, turmeric, fatty fish, and beets. Peripheral artery disease doesn't just affect your legs. It can affect your heart and brain, too. But when caught early, it's manageable. If your feet are burning and nothing else seems to help, don't ignore the possibility. The sooner you address blood flow, the sooner you may sleep in comfort again. Number three, vitamin and mineral deficiencies. Not all burning feet are caused by nerve damage or blocked arteries. In fact, one of the most overlooked causes, especially in seniors, is a lack of key nutrients your body needs to support healthy nerves and muscles. This type of deficiency-related burning may not be as severe at first, but over time, it can grow more intense and harder to ignore. Take Helen, 71. She had started feeling a burning and tingling in her toes every evening. At first, she thought it was her shoes or dry skin, but a blood test revealed she was deficient in vitamin B12 and magnesium, two nutrients essential for proper nerve signaling and muscle function. With her doctor's guidance, she adjusted her diet and took targeted supplements. Within weeks, the burning sensation had started to ease. As we age, our bodies absorb nutrients less efficiently. This is especially true for people taking certain medications like antacids, diuretics, or metformin. These drugs can interfere with how the body absorbs and uses important vitamins and minerals. Seniors are most commonly deficient in vitamin B1, thiamine, B6, B12, magnesium, and iron. Each of these plays a critical role in how nerves fire, how muscles contract, and how oxygen moves through your blood. When one or more are lacking, the result can be nerve irritation, muscle cramps, or that telltale burning feeling in the feet. According to a study published in Clinical Nutrition, over 35% of older adults have a significant deficiency in at least one nerve-supporting nutrient, most often B12A or magnesium and many don't realize it until symptoms appear. Some of the signs to look for include burning or tingling sensations in the feet or hands, nighttime foot cramps, fatigue, irritability, or general weakness, restless legs, or muscle twitching. What to do? If you're experiencing these symptoms, ask your doctor for a full nutrient panel, especially one that checks your B vitamins, magnesium, and iron levels. Do not take over-the-counter supplements unless recommended by a healthcare provider. Taking the wrong dose, or the wrong form, can make things worse. Instead, start with food, eggs, fish, dairy, legumes, leafy greens, seeds, and whole grains are packed with the nutrients your nerves rely on. Stay well hydrated throughout the day, as dehydration can intensify nerve sensitivity. Some people also find short-term relief with warm foot soaks or topical magnesium sprays. Though these only manage symptoms, they don't fix the underlying cause. The good news? 
deficiency-related foot burning is often reversible. Once you identify and correct the missing nutrients, many people see real improvement in just a few weeks. The key is to act early and act wisely. Number two, restless leg syndrome and sleep disruption. If your feet start to burn, tingle, or feel strangely uncomfortable the moment you lie down, especially in the evening, it may be more than just tired legs. You could be dealing with a neurological condition called restless leg syndrome. Restless leg syndrome causes an uncontrollable urge to move your legs or feet while you're resting. The sensations can feel like itching, crawling, or tugging under the skin, and for many people, a deep burning sensation in the feet. What makes it especially disruptive is that it usually gets worse at night, just when you're trying to relax and fall asleep. Let's take Robert, 70. He was generally healthy but struggled to sleep for more than a few hours at a time. Every night, his feet would burn and buzz the moment he lay down. He tried creams, new shoes, and elevating his feet, but nothing helped. After months of restless nights, a neurologist diagnosed him with restless leg syndrome linked to low iron stores. With the right medical care, his symptoms eased, and he finally started getting restful sleep again. Restless leg syndrome affects up to 10% of adults over 60, according to the Sleep Foundation. And because the sensations are hard to explain, many people suffer in silence, often thinking it's just part of aging. But this condition has distinct features that set it apart. Here's what to watch for. Burning, crawling, or tingling sensations in the feet or lower legs. A strong urge to move your legs to relieve the discomfort. Symptoms that start or worsen in the evening. Temporary relief from movement, followed by return of symptoms at rest. Difficulty falling or staying asleep due to leg or foot discomfort. Experts believe restless leg syndrome involves how the brain processes dopamine, a chemical tied to movement. Low levels of ferritin, a stored form of iron, are often found in people with this condition. That's why checking iron and ferritin levels is usually one of the first steps your doctor will take. If these sensations sound familiar, speak with a healthcare provider. They may recommend lab tests, sleep evaluation, or in some cases, medication. Never attempt to self-treat with iron or dopamine supplements. These require careful monitoring. There are also lifestyle changes that can make a big difference. Avoid caffeine, alcohol, and large meals in the evening. Stick to a consistent bedtime routine. Gentle stretching before bed and warm baths can help calm your nervous system. Some people also benefit from light massage or compression. Restless leg syndrome is not just about discomfort. It's about how that discomfort affects your sleep mood, and overall quality of life. Like Robert, you don't have to live with it. The first step is recognizing the pattern and getting the right help. Number one, chronic health conditions. If your feet are burning night after night and nothing seems to help, it may be time to look beyond circulation, nutrients, or sleep patterns. In some cases, burning feet are a symptom of something more serious, an underlying chronic health condition that's affecting your nerves or metabolism from within. Let's take Susan, 67. She had been dealing with burning feet for over a year. She tried soaking them, changed her shoes, and even adjusted her diet. But the burning only got worse. When her doctor ran a full blood panel, they discovered early-stage kidney disease and an underactive thyroid. Both were quietly affecting her nerves. Once those conditions were treated properly, her symptoms slowly began to improve. Three of the most common chronic health issues linked to burning feet are diabetes, chronic kidney disease, and hypothyroidism. Diabetes is the leading cause of nerve damage in older adults. Over time, high blood sugar levels can wear down the delicate nerve fibers in your feet, causing them to misfire. That damage is often permanent if not caught early. Even people with prediabetes, 
those who aren't officially diagnosed but have elevated glucose, can develop similar nerve problems. Chronic kidney disease is another hidden culprit. When the kidneys aren't filtering waste properly, toxins start to build up in the blood. These toxins can irritate nerve tissue and trigger burning, tingling, or numbness in the feet. According to the CDC, more than one in seven U.S. adults has kidney disease, and the majority don't even know it. Hypothyroidism, an underactive thyroid, slows down your entire body. That includes how fast your nerves recover, how blood flows through your limbs, and how well your body regulates temperature. People with low thyroid function often experience cold feet, swelling, fatigue, and sometimes burning sensations, especially at night. Take action today, before it's too late. Burning feet at night aren't just uncomfortable, they're your body's way of asking for help. Whether it's nerve damage, poor circulation, vitamin deficiencies, restless leg syndrome, or an underlying condition, it's important to act early. Start by speaking to your doctor. Ask about tests for nerve health, vitamin levels, and chronic conditions. Support your body with movement, nutrient-rich foods, and better sleep habits. Even small changes can make a big difference. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more health tips, and share it with someone who might need it too. And tell us in the comments, have you dealt with burning feet? What worked for you? Your health is your strength, and it's never too late to feel better.